What's up everybody, Mr. Martin here. Today we're gonna to continue working on our train project. Uh, we are gonna have the Axle Peg Part Studio open and we're gonna create a sketch on our front plane. I found in on shape that it's easier to just make these shapes and revolve them than it is to make circles and extrude them and do those kind of things. So we're just going to stick with that. So we're going to make a horizontal line that's 0.125 inches. We're going to go up an inch. Zoom in a little bit so we can see better. We're going to go to the right 0 0.086 inches and up. 0 0.031 inches. We're going to escape out of that. Kind of move some of this stuff around so it's a little bit easier to see what we're working with. And make another line. And we're going to go here. We'll go vertical 1.125 inches. And then we're going to go to the right 0.125 inches. So once we have that all built, we're now going to make an arc from here to here. So we're going to zoom in so we can see these points really well. If you don't do that, you might get a sketch is unsolvable error. So I've found that having it here and getting it to be about 0.236 as the radius, that should be fine. And then it's able to give you the radius that we want. Um, then we're going to finish our sketch. So we're good there. And we're going to revolve. We'll revolve the face around this axis and finish. And now we need to create a new sketch on the top of the peg. So we'll create one here. Let's go to the top view, zoom in. And we are going to make a inscribed polygon that has six sides and a diameter of five thirty seconds of an inch. So we're going to take the polygon tool, make sure we select inscribed polygon. Um, when I was coming up with the instructions for this, I had to go grab calipers and a socket wrench to make sure that the distance um, of 5 30 seconds of an inch is from the flat sides of the polygon and not from the corners. So if you didn't know that, the 530 seconds would be from the distance from the flat edges of a hex. So we're gonna place our polygon here. It has six sides. Um, here we go, six. And it's going to be dimensioned. We're gonna dimension the circle as 530 seconds. So there we have a hexagon. Uh, the orientation doesn't really matter um, because, well, it's a hexagon, so it, you can just spin it however you want. Um, so it's a hexagon on top of a circle, so it doesn't matter. So we are gonna finish this sketch. Let's zoom out or go back to a not top view. There we go. And we're going to remove extrude this hexagon down and we'll remove it 0 0.111 inches down. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to chamfer the bottom edge of this cylinder. So select chamfer. We're going to need to do distance and angle. So select that. We'll go distance of 0 0.03 inches and a angle of 45 degrees. And we're good. So we're gonna zoom out so we see everything. Um, we can right click, say hide all planes. If we don't wanna see them. We're going to change the part material to PLA. And bring up our mass properties and it looks like we have a volume of 0 0.06 inches cubed and 0 0.003 pounds is our mass. So um, go ahead and finish there. Um, I think that's it for this one. All right, great. 
All right. So if you have any questions, make sure you drop me a line, uh, an email or a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, otherwise, good luck building this part. You guys are doing awesome. Keep it up. Talk to you soon.